guys, I'm Craig Brown. I get to work with Dean Wilson this year on the Firepower Froth Honda racing team. So with Dean Wilson, we'll start at the front of this bike. Um, we just run neck and handlebars. Just a pretty much standard bend with him. He does like a, a fair bit of rises in the bars. Slightly roll back, not too much, just because we lift him so high, he, he likes him back a little bit, but um, just so he's comfortable. So standard front brake in the middle for the uh, lever adjustment, just in a neutral position in the height wise as well. Same with the clutch, stock clutch master as well, stock lines, everything. Yeah, he's got baby hands these days, dealing with the uh, baby oil, so we put some donuts on the inside just to um, keep them hands a little bit nicer for him. No different on the waffles or anything, just uh, just a half waffle grip for him. Bill of throttle tube, yes, correct. Stock throttle cables. So just neck and, neck and triple clamps for this one. We've got that steering nut on uh, a bit of a lock wire so uh, it doesn't come loose and keeps it all safe. So when I first started working with Dean, it was on the looser side, but every time um, we've just been tightening it up and he hasn't been complaining, it's, it's kept him a little bit straighter through the whoop. So um, just a standard kill switch for the old two strokes we put on. That's just, we don't switch between maps during racing. So it's just simplified the bars, makes it look a little bit nicer and uh, no dramas in that way. Showa A kit, front forks, coated. He's working with for show as a technician. So yeah, and they've got that, that valving dialed for him at the moment. Ride height, he hasn't really complained too much. They just uh, did some testing and, and got that pretty sorted. No, he did test them there too, um, and we're sitting at 180. Just a 180 um, button height for him. Works connections quite nice to us. They put this uh, bracket on the bottom of the fork guards, give it a little bit more support. Obviously, the fork guards only plastic, so with the button so deep, they do rip out. So with the metal strap, just gives it a little bit more bracing to hold them in, so hopefully we don't rip out a, a fork guard and damage that beautiful fork leg. Our wheel setup is a XL rim, EZE, an Australian product that we brought over. Do a really nice hub. We tie wire our, our spokes just so if one does snap or gets caught up in a foot peg in the first corner, it's it's not nice, but we can always run it um, with a broken spoke. We lap them things with a set of factory Dunlop tyres. He's done testing with Dunlop over here, and uh, this is the tyre that he's picked. So yeah, we just got our, our radiators braced, one through the back, our corners braced as well, just so uh, if we have a little tip over, so you don't twist. Obviously the spigots and, and the tanks are all, all reinforced with a bit of weld, just to strengthen and everything up. Preventive maintenance is always key. Uh, we whack that thing with a 1.8 cap on it from uh, Twin Air, just a little bit higher um, pressure so we don't smoke them out too much when we get hot. So motor is done in-house here at Firepower. So the boys have done a really good package for him. He asked for a lot more bottom end and we gave it to him and, and kind of had to go away from that a little bit. So it was more usable. Had to be a usable power in, in Supercross for him. So um, had to dial that down a little bit through through the pre-season and uh, this package we come up with. Wrapped that thing with the HGS exhaust. We've done two tests on that and uh, he, he was happy straight away. He can always hit that button and uh, yeah, first corner crash. Prevent with maintenance again. We snap that starter button or if it gets caught or, or snap of any kind he can just reach down and, and press that and, and get going for the race you know the pool's got standard springs in it uh standard plates and hints and pressure plates and basket hints and cover um doesn't scratch as nice so it keeps my bike looking a little bit nicer fill this thing up with renegade fuel every time that gave us good horsepower as well dump into that fuel and we're seeing um good results out of it so engine mounts works chassis lab with them holes in there they look nice and uh yeah get that frame chassis to uh how we like it uh his big tool legs it's just a standard subframe standard length no no adjustments there at all man we we tried the the big number board one um he just tore up his pants so much it didn't give him any any extra benefits to uh to what we got now so that protects his makes his uh, boots grip really tight obviously the frames frames good too and uh foot pegs yes we do put the pins in backwards but with the safety wire um they don't fall out just if we if we bend the foot peg or anything, we can get them out nice and quick. It is a bit of a hassle to get it up past that uh, rear brake pedal. So it's an A-catch shock. Um, obviously, the same as, same as the forks done in-house uh, with uh, show a technician. Um, HRC linkage, which was nice enough for them, them guys to give us. So uh, completely stock rear brake from, from master cylinder to caliper to line, complete stock. 
Yes, uh, put some tight banjo bolts in there so we can lock wire them with a little bit of safety. Um, obviously work connection cap on there just for a bit of bling. Doesn't burn through the rear brakes. Rear brake pedal's a little bit higher than normal from standard, sorry. We've got a 1349 brockets on this and it really does put it in the middle of the axle blocks which is quite nice. So yeah, not super far back to make that bike super long. Not super forward so it turns sharp or anything like that. It's just quite neutral in that one. 120 rear, yep. So yeah, obviously coated static cover just for looks and durability. Got a stock shifter on that. We just put a bit of elastic in there so no dirt gets in there and, and sticks it from, from flicking in and out whenever he's showing it through a rut or something. Firepower battery to get this big girl started and uh, firepower sprockets as well. Sam's got our graphics sorted from SKDA. Obviously Australian company as well that we that's come over and helped us out here at Firepower Honda. Makes our graphics look sick and obviously uh, does seat covers as well. Rope in his seat pleats, keep him up forward so he doesn't slip back on them graded starts when he hooks up with them Dunlop tyres and so just a carbon fibre disc cover just to protect that uh, stock disc it just stops that rear brake caliper it wraps right underneath that rear brake uh, front brake caliper as well so it doesn't grab or, or pull them to them ruts they're a stock peg but just we weld a little bit extra onto them just to make them super sharp with the tips a little bit a little bit higher and then just a really sharp peg have his area that he's comfy with and, and just stay on that motorcycle in that one spot and, and gets locked in and, and held pretty tight